Mason Ingram gets the first touch down low and the first basket of the ball game turned in by Harrison Ingram. Pete Howard in the first four on Tuesday in Dayton. That is a three-point victory. Baycott gets it inside. No trouble scoring over the much shorter Julian Brown, where UMBC made history and took down Virginia as the first ever 16 seed to be the one seed. FDU did it again last year. Another bucket down, and that is R.J. Davis. Ingram out of the pack. Carolina wants to run. Davis from the floor. Look at his camera. With the steal up ahead, Council, and he lays it in. And Wagner's on the board. You know, bid stealers, and then you figure that the Big East only got three teams in. Julian Brown for three. 15 against Howard on Tuesday. Made three threes in that game. He can get it going from beyond the arc. Baycott goes right at Keontae Lewis. Again, Brown passed up a three. Davis right on him. Slips the pass to Keontae Lewis. A little push shot is good. Kind of figured it out and offensively been a lot more efficient those last three or four possessions. Seen so many games like this as Baycott goes off the glass. As fundamental as you can get. Well, another point inside talking about basic fundamentals. No more fundamental than using the glass off the spin board. A quiet player in his day, Jimmy, but a very vocal coach. And he's got a great team to work with this year. Out of bounds, out of the timeout, Keontae Lewis drops one in. Now Scare probing once again. Brown, he'll let it fly. Not afraid, got some range. Julian Brown, he hit the clutch free throws late in the first four game. Four turnovers. Yeah, now, now Julian Brown ended up with the shot, but it was the ball movement, the spacing. See if that kind of plays to, to their head. Hey, Coach Williams looks pretty calm right now. As Brown knocks down a mid-range baseline jumper. He didn't even think he liked him. Now he's, he's like a grandpa. He's one of his best friends. Now, if he didn't like you, he wouldn't talk to you. <laughs> that's a good so th that's better him be loud. And speaking of loud, that was a loud three-pointer. 40-plus percent three-point shooter. Scott got everywhere. Another one going up top. And the finger roll from Jalen Withers. That the bench in his hometown. Davis put it up top. Nice recovery in the air. He did let the telebot, unfortunately <laughs> for him. I tried to put him through and get him to do some stuff he wouldn't do. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice putback by Council. I missed it. Got his own. Younger half brother, JP Tokido. Ingram drives it. And Ingram scores it. You see how Harrison Ingram just got rid of Tajay Kelton. <laughs> Tajay Kelton, the tallest player for Wagner, 6-7. Davis missed it, settled for the three. Nice save! Tremble lays it in. So a great start here. Interesting checking these matchups here, these Carolina big men out guarding these guards, because they're all guards. Melvin Council with a little mid-range jumper. Yeah, that's a little flat on that jump shot. Baycott's already got six boards. Now he drives it, missed it. Withers now the put back and a foul. Jalen Withers, a chance at a three-point play. So Withers has a body on him, but guess what? That body by Julian Brown is uh, a little bit short. Yeah. <laughs> so he's he was right there up underneath. I'll tell you what, Baycott split those puppies and took away Council's drive and uh, gets it deep, missed the dunk, and now a foul and it goes. Just too big inside. Carolina dominating in the paint. 20 paint points already. Baycott couldn't get the dunk. Does get the finish and the foul. A moment ago, Alley with Donald Copeland. Scara getting the late clock here. Ryan's been on him. Now Allen drives it. Allen strong with the left hand. You, know, you don't want to get late in the shot clock against this Carolina defense because that's when the size really looms over you, but excellent job that time to finish, but once again, that time, Cormac Ryan. Now he's got Bacon on him, dumps it down inside, Keontae Lewis, guarded by Ingram, big bodies going at it, fundamental, Keontae Lewis off the glass. Ingram in that spot once again, missed it again, Bacon can't follow it, Bacon gets a second offensive rebound, puts it in this time. Blant under five seconds of the shot clock, hits an empty possession. Top 10 defensive team is Wagner in the country as Ryan rips the cords, a three-pointer in that last time out. Here is Brown, no look. Lewis, nice little push shot 
by Keontae Lewis with 10 and five boards. Keontae Lewis backing down Baycott. Lewis, little jump hook is good. The, the shots were short, no air underneath them. Cormac Ryan, pure stroke. Cormac Ryan has two of them. Just underway here at half number two. That was the hot hand in the first half. Julian Brown. Yeah, they stopped going full contact once the body began short. So you lose a little something when you have practice time. But that's the cards that they were dealt with. A beautiful pass that time. A beautiful oh, defense. Wow. Council from behind with a block, and it's last touch. And Lewis on with those three fouls. The double comes. They cut. Leaves it for Davis. Oh, wow, what a finish. R.J. Davis somehow got it off the window. As we take a look from our AT&T connected cam, Armando Baycott. Yeah, with well, the grad senior, I mean, he's seen every kind of defensive matchup in the world. So very patient. And Trimble on the floor, coming off the Carolina bench. Here's Davis. He pulls a long three, comes up short. Lewis flying high for the rebound. Here comes Wagner. There you go. Positive defensive possession and in transition. That's a little Euro from Melvin Council. Boy, he is nice. He has got some serious salt in his bag as Cormac Ryan comes right back to lay it in and a foul. Remember Jay Nivey that played at yes. Purdue? Counter. A little bit of that in his game right here. Look at this. Able to get it down, give it back up. Really, you see. Ball movement here inside. Baycott resets. Turn around is good. Got him deep. And Armando Baycott with a left hand by the Tar Heel. Here's Escara trying to leave it up top. Well, it was all set up for Sexongo. He was not expecting a pass. Empty set. Davis drives. Davis a great finisher and scores another one. Donald Copeland setting up shop in Brooklyn this week. Wagner with the ball here. Three-pointer flies for Brown. He's got it. Julian Brown coming out of that timeout. Offensive rebound. Carolina not able to take advantage of it. But here in transition, secondary break. Get an open shot. Yeah. Three-pointer for Tajay Kelton. Cormac Ryan. He'll let it fly. Comes up short. Offensive board. Withers. Withers has been a beast in round one today. And puts one back. A little push shot. Comes up short. Threading the needle. Baycott, wow. the catch. Can't finish. Look who's there. Jalen Winters. Yeah, Jamie, you could uh, see a matchup down the road mm -hmm. in the West Regional. Caleb Love, R.J. Davis, Arizona UNC. What happened? Brown turning the corner. Two-man game here. And a foul. Set Zongo. But pace is what got this play an opportunity to work. You come off the screen. Aaron Allen with four fouls right now. He's going to have to play some big minutes. Back, back in that zone. R.J. Davis rattles in a three-pointer. Flying high for the rebound. Cadeau gives it up. Ingram will pull a three. And he hits it. Harrison Ingram, 37% three-point shooter this year. And then here, body blow, body blow, body blow. You know what I mean? Big time rebounder, top 10 of the nation in total rebounds. Here goes Council, he drives and lays it in. Quick move. Up ahead, Withers running the floor, knocked out of his hands by Council. He will knock that in in the transition offense. Out of bounds, and it is Davis. So after a quiet first half, just five points in the first half. He's got 16 overall. And another turnover. Davis with a steal up ahead. Cadeau up top. And down it goes. Jalen Withers. Fast break. Three on one. Make the correct decision. And a possession here for Wagner. Kelton gives it right back. And Council drills a three pointer. I like him. First team all NAC performer. Been in a shooting slump before his game in Dayton as R.J. Davis, pure stroke right there. Davis having a big second half for the Tar Heels. Ends up in the hands of Council, dumps it down to Lewis. Guarded by Baycott, he'll pull that jumper, and knocks it down. He's got a nice little stroke. Withers keeps it alive into the hands of Council. They push it. Council, speed dribble. Finding Brown, that was blocked by Ryan. 
Weathers up ahead. Ingram runs it down. Ingram scores. I heard he knew when he bent down, he was going in attack mode. He said, I gave it up to you once. Beautiful. What a pass. Cormac Ryan on the receiving end from R.J. Davis. Mississippi State, the eighth seed in the first game. And shot it extremely well from beyond three. You know, Mississippi State came into that game limiting teams to about 29%. R.J. Davis. Blue Bloods in college basketball, Carolina and Michigan State. The defensive-minded Spartans. Tom Izzo, always brilliant this time of year as Baycott puts two more in. 28-year-old head athletic trainer at Wagner. Came from Haiti to Brooklyn. She was a two-sport athlete. Had a bunch of injuries. It was a disappointing loss for Wagner. But the core group in which the players are on the court now Juniors, freshmen, sophomores for Wagner. Yeah, we were outmanned, outsized, but the heart and the effort was still there all the way down to the buzzer. Even though North Carolina's making these shots, you never saw these young men for Wagner. Great Lebo on the floor as well, trying to guard Council and Zayden High up high for the block. Put in the grind, getting minutes here in March Madness. Get the cameras out. Three-pointer finally goes down for Javier Esquera. You see that documentary put out, Bleacher Report, the point gods of Puerto Rico, J.J. Barea, Carlos Arroyo. Got one on the board. Rob Landry scores it, much to the delight of the Carolina bench. But, man, you're talking about a big-time matchup on Saturday. Can't wait. I'm glad I'm here with you, partner, to call that one. It's going to be something special. Hubert Davis, the ACC Coach of the Year.